if I don't have that kind of compassion, then my faith is worthless. God's calling in a person's life can happen at a very early age, at least for me. I remember that it was a cold winter day and I was wearing a jacket and as I walked along the sidewalk, I could hear behind me the noise of some boy who was making some noise and I began to realize that he was teasing me for being Chinese. Now, I'm obviously not Chinese at all, but like I said, I had a hood on and maybe he just mistook me for somebody else. As I turned around and looked at him, he was making Chinese eyes like this. And then he threw a banana peel. And I can remember how the tears came to my eyes as I thought, this isn't fair, I'm not even Chinese. And I also thought, and even if I was Chinese, it still wouldn't be fair. And even at that young age, I kind of had a sense of justice and, and that this wasn't right. And although I couldn't think any more, uh, you know, beyond that level, but later on, I came to feel like that incident was the time when God put his hand on me and said, I want you to identify with people who are different from you. And that has been a theme throughout my life. I saw here in America that many of us uh, want to stay separate from other people, either out of ignorance of their culture or a little bit of fear or I won't know what to say or maybe there are things that we don't like about a particular people group. You know, we don't like certain habits or cultural uh, attitudes that they have and so we just keep off from taking that initiative to love our neighbor. And. Um, I strongly base that on Matthew 9, 35 to 38, where Jesus is obviously being with people uh, in their homes, in the marketplaces, in the places where people gather. He's touching the lepers and being touched uh, by the lepers, the prostitutes. So this is his model for us of how to love people. And that passage tells us that when Jesus saw the, the suffering and the needs, he felt compassion. He didn't feel like, let me stay away from this, this is, this is unpleasant, but rather, let, let me go there, let me meet these needs. So we as his disciples need to be where Jesus is and do what Jesus is doing. And then as uh, my husband and I got married later and, and felt that the Lord was calling us to Kenya, that calling began to be fulfilled in a very direct way. We identified very deeply with the uh, Kenyan people uh, but I used to notice that in the shops, there, the shops were all run by Asians. Uh, that was the term we used in Kenya, and it means people from India and Pakistani descent were there. And uh, I knew they were mostly Hindus, and I knew they needed to hear about Jesus. But uh, I knew that I didn't know anything about uh, that kind of religion or, or culture. And so I used to pray, Lord, send someone send someone to them, but it's not me, but Lord, do send someone. And I would pretty much leave it at that. And then one day, after we had been in Kenya for maybe 11 years, and we were living in the town of Nakuru, we, uh, one day, a friend of mine came to our, our house and said, uh, Kathy, I've, I've brought a friend of mine, a colleague of mine, uh, in the car with me. She's a Sikh, but I think she wants to become a Christian. Can you witness to her? And in my mind, I thought, what's a Sikh? But with my mouth, I said, sure, bring her in. I, I knew nothing, you see. Um, but God used my ignorance uh, and went beyond that in, into just he worked with his spirit in her life. And uh, she, she was ready, uh, despite my mistakes uh, of that day. And that was the starting of a call from God to really begin to work with and reach the Asian people in Kenya. But the old saying was very, very true in that, in that uh, case, that uh, God will use your availability, not your ability. I had no abilities, no knowledge. And I liken that to um, Peter, uh, the story of Peter and Jesus walking on the water. And when he got out of the boat, he'd never been to walking on water school at all, not one bit. And so it was totally Jesus sustaining him. And uh, in a similar way, uh, I, had, I knew nothing, but I just said yes when the Holy Spirit gave me an opportunity. So when you see a need, don't, don't wait for somebody else with more expertise uh, to go in and fill it. But if God has put you there, 
then His Holy Spirit can give you the power to, to meet that need and to love our neighbors more adequately.